Hi there. I was just reading about the Harappan civilization, found in northwestern India, bordering the Arabian Sea. It's known as Pakistan today. Did you know that out of the 1,052 communities discovered in Indus Valley, Harappa and Mohenjo-Dara are the two main cities? Man, I wish I could really find a book on the Harappan civilization. Oh, hey, Stella. What are you reading? Hey, Allison. I was just reading a book on the Harappan city. It was one of the first cities found in the Indus Valley civilization. And the Mohenjo-Daro was one known as the Mound of the Dead and one of the largest cities found in the civilization. Man, where'd you get that book? Right on the shelf. That's so cool. <laughs> hey, Maddie. Let's do a brain exercise on the Indus Valley civilization that lasted between... 2500 BCE through 1500 BCE, and you can even find some of the artifacts from Mohenjo-Dara in some national museums in India and Pakistan. Whoa, that really exercised my brain. I see you're reading about the Harappan civilization. Why, yes I am. Well, they were a very advanced civilization with all kinds of technology, such as a drainage system, established a burnt brick houses, produce of cotton and woolen textiles, also influenced by trade and agriculture as they produced many crops and other gems to trade for materials they lacked in. Although it occurred many years ago, we can still find out various things about the Harappan civilization through agriculture campaigns and excavations. They lived in two to three stories high, stone houses, and wrote through hieroglyphics. They also used bronze to make things like knives, fish hooks, chisels, pots, and pans. Since they're influenced by agriculture, they live near the Indus River because it created a fertile land important for growing crops. As well as for drinking water, they had very orderly, well-kept roads. Although there are many things we can learn about and find about the Harappan people, there are many things we do not know about them. Since they all wrote with hieroglyphics, we cannot fully know what they called their cities, because we can't convert their language to ours. The fact that we can't read hieroglyphics limits our abilities to understand the Harappan people. We have many assumptions and conspiracies about the gods they praised, but we don't really know what they were and we have no clue how and where the civilization even emerged, how they developed technology, and how they governed are all mysteries to us. The Indus Valley um, civilizations didn't leave behind any temples or tombs that we know of, unlike the pyramids in Egypt, but they did leave behind clay sculptures and um, metal sculptures they left behind, dishes and things, those kinds of artifacts. So one example of um, a sculpture that they left behind is um, the dancing girl, which I have a picture right here. And basically, um, this was found in Mohenjo-Daro. It's a small statue, it's actually pretty small, um, made of bronze. Um, it shows that dancing was part of their culture and we can infer that they enjoyed it and that was something that was important to them. And um, it, it teaches us about their culture. Um, cups, bowls, dishes, and vases were made of terracotta, in generally. And um, metal dishes or um, metal dishes were also found and they were made of silver or copper. And here are some examples. These ones seem to be made of terracotta and these were just dishes that they had made that were found um, in the Indus Valley Civilization. Um, a lot of them, from research I've found, um, a lot of them had designs and things, so they were pretty creative with that. Um, writing was also found, um, often found on seals. Um, we can learn that most people um, 
or traders, um, people who traded, they couldn't read much, unlike scribes, but um, they could read enough to understand what was written on the seals. So they didn't know much, but they knew enough to understand them. Um, we can also learn, we've also learned that um, they had about 400 signs in their language. We don't necessarily know what the language is, but we think it's close to Tamil, which is spoken in southern, <laughs> southern India today. And here's an example of some of the seals. And you can see we've got animals on the seals, and then they've got the writing up here. We don't necessarily know. It's most, it's, it's signs, really. Um, but, yeah. The Harappan civilization ended in 1750 BC. No one knows what happened to the Harappan people. There could have been an earthquake or a giant monsoon. Maybe they weren't able to grow crops and food anymore because the rivers all dried up. For all we know, their civilization could have been taken over and invaded. But we still don't know what happened to the Harappan people.